Hey guys, so I'm back with another vlog. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a flu right now, which is crazy. Um, I actually didn't want to take a vlog this week. I was actually going to skip this week because I've been feeling really down, as you can imagine. But I don't know, I just want to be transparent, take you guys through my life, even what it's like when I do have that cold, that flu, you know, just being a genuine vlog of what my life is like. So, I have a lecture, a CFD, Computational Fluid Dynamics lecture, and I also now, after that, I also have a heat and mass transfer lecture, so I'm gonna go wash quickly, and then um, take some meds, and then go. Okay, so now... I've like finished up doing everything and okay so now I'm off to campus so yeah as you can see took my meds so hey it's looking rough it's looking rough but we're still pushing so yeah off to campus now Two more? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I know, shame. Yeah, 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 I know, we believe you. <laughs> we believe you. <laughs> Someone's calling. You see? Uh, <laughs> how's, how's, your pra how's the practical? That was great, bro. It was great. I zoned out 90% of the time. <laughs> so, yeah. What, what, what did you learn? I learned that Ohm's low. Oh, oh yeah. What's Ohm's law? Resistance, current is equal to voltage. That's the formula. Oh, and, okay, and, yeah, yeah. Keep it in a weird way. Yes, 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 yes. And, 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 and resistance, if temperature is constant, resistance is constant. So, V is proportional to I. Ish. I. Fever. Come on, man. What the hell? It's okay to have a social life, academic life, and be in a relationship. You must just know how to balance. You should have some good time management. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Great friends. You should have great friends, yeah. Do you, do you have Work? good friends? I think so, but I will say the people I started with are not the people I'm with right now. Ish. Ooh, what so. happened to them? Engineering. Yo. Only 40% of us are here. Ish. Yeah. Ish. How's final year so far? It's going okay. I think what yeah. I'm struggling with is the fact that we have so much breaks. Our classes are like towards the end of the day. Ish. So like now I have to cook my dinner during the day. Yeah. I go to the gym during the day. Yeah. Any other like errands I have to run has to be during the day or in the morning. And so you're so cheater. And I cheater. So I'm still figuring she that teaters out. She cheaters math, guys. Like, yeah. hey. Okay. So, what's the toughest thing about studying mechanical engineering? Um, maintaining your GPA. What do you mean by that? No, like, if, if you start high, you want to remain high. Yeah. So, you got to try work hard and maintaining that. So, that's, that's very difficult. And the other thing is, you got to be more creative in your thinking and think more, like, outside the box rather than 
be constrained in whatever you have to think about. Yeah. Just make sure you have your own thoughts in whatever you're thinking about. Yeah. No, yeah. that's the toughest part about studying engineering. Them, uh, yeah. Having to deal with failure, number one, <laughs> being consistent. Why are you doing um, I guess also making friends is tough. Yeah, it is yeah. tough. Um, my social life is tough. Uh, <laughs> to <be honest>. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. and also like studio is like very hard. I almost yeah. lost my mind last year. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, we are. Nah, final yeah. year. Yeah. The Seho, if you guys didn't know. Here you go. I made the slashes from scratch. Who are you? Oh. We've been here. We've been here for long, basically. We're waiting for them to make the ice. We will go in. Okay, so I'm back in my room now. It's actually night time. So I got back and slept because these meds, yo, yeah, they got me by the throat, but I'm actually about to eat and then I'm about to do some work after that. So, um, it's literally just noodles, guys. Nothing crazy. Um, I know it's so stereotypical of me to chow noodles, it's complete food, but just the, the situation right now is I don't have time. I just want to eat quickly and start doing work. So on days like this, I do just chow noodles. But at least I zammered, I did nuggets on the side, so it's not just noodles. But yeah, that's on the menu for tonight, I guess. Noodles, YouTube. I'm happy. Just before I finish this video, I wanted to show you guys my vision board is still coming, coming together. But I just find it very important to have a vision board. It's, it like keeps you focused in the sense of you know what you're working, what you're working towards. So yeah, for me it really does help. And you see, so I want to go into aeronautics. So that's why I have the RS-25 engine there, which NASA uses on their rockets. The Raptor engine, which SpaceX uses on their rockets. Um, the RL-10 engine, which NASA uses for the upper stage for their rockets too. Um, Yuri Gagarin, he was the first guy to actually go into space. So like some really cool stuff, you know, the Falcon rocket. Richard Feynman, he was actually a very big mathematician, very instrumental. Um, so yeah, and just having a vision board is still under construction, but very important. And even here, I'll show you, this is me and Siakluza. And Siakluza, basically, if you go search him, Siabulela Cruza is his full name. He's this dude that he invented his own rocket fuel and NASA even named a minor planet after him. So just having him up there and getting to meet him was you know your one of the highlights of my year last year so put that up on my vision board but hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah see you guys next time no. the mile, 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 mile.